So you're going to learn what a wall stud is, what a quarter stud is, what a jack stud is, what a king stud is, what a header is, what a top plate is, what a double top plate is, what a bottom plate is, what a floor joist is, what a rim joist is, what a band joist is, what a girder. You get it? You get it. You're going to learn all that. So this, you're going to learn the language and you're going to learn how to scale it and what the order of assembly is. Okay. Right down the stairs, everybody. We're going to walk right over to it. You guys, you get the flip flops on. We're going to get some boots. You guys got boots? Uh, what's up, what's up? No, unfortunately. How about closed toe shoes? Can I rent some boots? Hey, why, do you got, why do you guys need to go to the Okay, everybody, you're looking at a full scale building that students built right here on the campus, okay? We're building it? Eventually, you'll build one of these, yes. So, how it goes is carpentry one, you're gonna build, you're gonna, you're gonna draw and build the scale building. And then in carpentry two, you're gonna come in and we're gonna build a full scale. Well, you see, it's eight feet. You see that it's eight feet? And yeah. it's a little longer than eight feet because the structure in there, the um, frame is eight feet, but then you add the sheathing and the trim and it grows out a little bit. Get it? Yeah. So the skeleton is eight feet by 10 feet. If I go this way, come down from the back. Can you guys come over and see this? I want, you know, I want everyone to take a peek at this. You see it's 10 feet and three inches. Mm -hmm. And it's 10 feet and three inches because the, the frame is 10 feet. And then when you add up the plywood and the finished trim, it ends up outside finished dimension at 10 feet, three inches. All right. Now you look up here. Over this too far. These are terms you're going to learn. This is a soffit, this is a fascia, and this is a rake. Rake trim, fascia, soffit. Corner trim, door casing. All right, so this is plywood. It's, it acts as the skin, and we don't have to put siding on it. We can paint it. So it saves a step. And this material is called Texture 111, T111. Again, all things you're going to get familiar with. Exterior glue will hold up to moisture and stay together. Okay? Again, all stuff you're going to learn as we move along. But can you all see the scale now? Yes. Can you, can you picture oh, that? The oh, There's the bell. 